As we finish up the chapter on circles, we're going to lastly talk about how to graph circles on a coordinate plane. So this kind of crosses over to algebra and graphing things. We're just going to go over how to graph them. You will see equations of circles in this form. Now notice there's a minus here and a minus here. Um, and also that we have the radius squared over here. So what we want to do, uh, this minus really means to find the center, so the center is at hk. So the center, really, once you look inside here, it's going to be the opposite of what's written here. So we'll see that in a, in a minute or so. And then whatever number's over here, you need to take the square root of whatever number's on the right to get your radius, because this is the radius squared over there, not just the radius. So to graph a circle, graph a point at the center, and from the center go r units, length of the radius, up, down, left, and right from the center, and then sketch the circle. So I think just doing them will help you here. So this first one, this is a circle. This is a plus one here, so we actually go left one. It's kind of opposite of what you might think. The reason it is, it's, it's the value of x that makes this thing equal zero. So negative one would make this zero. So left one and down four. So same idea with this. What makes this zero? Negative four. And then here we take the square root of four, which is two, and that will be the radius. So the center is going to be at negative one, negative four and the radius is two. So we go negative one, negative four. There's the center, and from the center, we're gonna go right two, up two, left two, and down two. And we're gonna go draw our circle. Try to make sure it's wide enough and round enough. Some people, uh, let me show you an, what often people do. They'll just go kind of from point to point and then like try to round it once they get there and it looks almost like a square or some people call it a squircle because it's partly a square and partly a circle. So that is the wrong way to do it. Uh, practice with it. it, takes a little bit of practice to get that, but try to draw your circle to look circular. Number two, our, this is gonna move left three and left four uh, down four, and it's because it's the opposite of that. So our center will be at negative three, negative four. And then the radius, we take the square root of one. Take the square root of one. Actually, I don't really like to write it there, um, which is just one. Square root of one which is one. Now we want to graph it. So left three, down four for the center. Then front and the center go right one, up one, left one, and down one, and draw the circle. All right, and that's how you'll work through the other ones. I want to skip down to a couple down here, just so you're aware and don't get confused. Just same idea, just a little bit, written a little differently. So this one is x minus four, which means we're gonna go right four, we're gonna do the opposite. And this says just y squared, which means y plus zero squared. So we're gonna move up or down zero. So nothing's written with the y, so um, we don't go up or down at all. So our center from that information is simply four, zero. Right four, up or down zero. And then our radius, this is another part that's a little different, is the square root of three. Well, the square root of three is about 1.7.
And so we're going to start at our center, which is at 4, 0. And we just have to estimate here. We're going to go right 1.7, up 1.7, left 1.7, and down 1.7, and sketch in the circle. No squircles. And let's look at number 8. Let's look at number 7, actually. Our center, it doesn't move left or right at all. It doesn't move up or down at all. So the center, so this is really the easiest to graph because there's not much to do here. The center is at 0, 0. And then the radius is at the square root of 25, which is 5. So we go right 5, up 5, left 5, down 5. I'm going to tell you something a little extra. 5 is a great radius to have because there's the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Which means, so we could go over 3, up 4. That'll give us another point in our circle. Or we could go over 4, up 3. We can do that in any direction. It just gives us a couple more points on our circle to make sure we don't get a squircle. So now we can go through each of those points and get the circle. You don't have to do that. Uh, since we had that five there, I figured I'd show you that. So look how close you can get to the circle if you get a couple extra points in there. And that's how you graph circles.